John, many congratulations. How important both on the field and in terms of mentality is a win like that? Yeah, no, I'll touch on the mentality first. They showed a great character. Uh, there was a real togetherness about them. I'm honest enough to say I don't think it was a pretty game, but if you were a supporter here, it would be an exciting game to score uh, the three goals, come back for losing an, a, a poor goal and show the spirit and the character at which he showed, uh, showed all credit to them. And even when the substitutes went on, you, you can see that they've got something about their cell. So it's going to have to be like that for now to the end of the season. No too bothered how it looks, mm -hmm. as long as we're picking up points and winning games. And uh, that's what it was all about today. So all credit to them. Not that they needed to, I'm sure you see this in training all the time, but to the supporters who maybe don't have the same access to the players, especially in COVID times, did those boys go out there and, and really prove their character, their will to battle and get over the line in a game as tough and important as that? Uh, you've been, somebody's actually gave you my team talk. I'm serious, that's what it's all about. You know, also matched up with a little bit of quality in terms of Burley's two goals. Um, delighted for Leo, you know, found himself out of the team a little bit. We just felt, and then come on there, got his goal. He's destined for big, big, big things. You know, he'll not be far away for Celtic's first team when he goes back. But this is what he needs to be doing. Uh, but I'm delighted for the for the boys. We look really solid. We, we, we competed. But still, it's Ross County, and I've heard people since we make it hard for ourselves. We don't do it easy, and we've never done it easy. So that's a little bit uh, nail biting stuff. You know, we needed to see the game out a little bit better and keep it at 3 1, and we sat too deep. Uh, we need to, you know, and I can understand that, but I'm just delighted for the fans, everyone concerned with, with Ross County. And if we keep giving that for now to the end of the season and don't give the sloppy goals away, I think we're we're a team that will be hard to play against, mm -hmm. and if we're hard to play against and hard working, and they're doing that in the training and the standards that we're trying to set in training, then any team we play against will know they've been in a game. Did they put you through the ringer a wee bit mentally at the end? They put me through the ringer at training because of the standards. <laughs> I'm serious. I'd never went on a training pitch, or I don't think so. Uh, went on a training pitch uh, to go through the motions or training and. I went on the training pitch to be the best I could be. I wanted to win everything that I did. And that's the demands that us and the staff are trying to get on them. The good thing about it, I think they're taking it on board. Mm. So what I'm trying to say is I, I'm seeing a lot of stuff on the training pitch getting carried over onto the pitch. And it's our job to just to keep pushing them and keep hitting them. And I don't like the big stick, but you know what I mean? <laughs> and just keep cajoling them. Yep. And demanding of them. Don't let them sit back and rest on their laurels. And we say to enjoy it back to work Monday and if any of them come in with a swagger on Monday then the big stick's coming out that's not a great term <laughs> I can well it? imagine but aye, steady uh, on with the big stick aye, but but I, know, but I know what you mean I know it's what a carrot or the stick isn't it the but, um, and it's, these guys are taking that on board they're now at the stage where they're placing it yeah. they're demanding of each other and they're placing it and that's nice to see there aren't many 17 year olds who could come in and play in defence in the Scottish Premiership in a relegation dogfight and do as well as Leo Hjelda has done for you so far this season. He, as you say, he could be writing amongst it for Celtic when he goes back next year. Yeah, it will be. As you say, 17 to come into that and in a, in a man's. Hmm. You know, never played a lot of football for 10 weeks before he come. He's coming into man's football. You know, last week, maybe the physical challenge was a wee bit much for him in the first half. Second half, he was hurting after the penalty. You know, um, what to go and see the referee. We had to calm him down. I felt that might have played on him for a few days in training, so he hurts. Once he went on, once again there, you know, once we got him in at half time and told him exactly what's required. When we're in position, you're a left winger. When you're out of position, you're a left back. And to see him popping up and showing that desire to get there and scoring a goal, absolutely delighted for him. <laughs> yeah. It's like you, you, these things are just written in the stars, you know, for disappointment. The last week, sitting on the bench, coming on, scoring a goal. That might keep, be the three points, play part in keep, the three points you keep in Ross County in the league. Yeah, it says a lot as well about Billy Mackay that after a, a frustrating time in and out the team, not starting as many games as I'm sure a senior striker like him would want, that he comes up, scores two goals, and effectively wins the game. Billy's been, yeah, Billy's been, uh, there's is a natural goal scorer. Someone was telling me that Billy's in the top five goal scorers of all time in the SPL, so that tells you what he's all about. There's a real frustration with Billy that he's not playing. Part of that earlier on was we never had that big focal point, you know, as we did in Jordan yeah. White. And all we say is when we got that Ollie Shaw or Bully come into play, um, we were asking Ollie to do that himself because we were playing more of a 
a defensive sitting uh, free. We've changed it about a little bit. But I've always said, Billy, all he wants to do is play football. And he proved to me in the day, get me up there with that foil and I'll score you goals. And if he keeps doing that, for not, Billy's streaky. And he goes on this streaky, yeah. you know, he gets goals and he gets confident and he goes streaky. I'm hoping he stays streaky and hot for the final at the end of the season. Do you hoping go and have a streaky night tonight, John? Enjoy it.